Hi guys, welcome back to August Love Story. Today we are reviewing Put a Ring on It, Season 1, Episode 11, The Reunion. Before we get into this video, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. Alright, so I ain't really know how to talk about this. I don't either, man. I think this is going to be a quick one. Mm -hmm. So we can start uh, with Ulysses. Ulysses, yeah, Ulysses, start, yeah. is that how you say his name? Ulysses, Ulysses, Ulysses and, and Mimi. Um, essentially, they were just Rob A because they were on the first two episodes, and they're in the the uh, show intro montage. Yeah. Um, they talked about her dad passing and how it has brought them together, and then we find out that he has purchased a ring, but he hasn't given it to her yet because he doesn't want to rush her. Yeah. And she says that she needs to go to therapy to work on her. Yeah, and we do send our condolences <laughs> to her and her family uh, about her dad <laughs> passing because that is big. So. Absolutely, like it's hard to lose anybody in your family, but it's even harder to lose a parent. Yeah, so um, from us to your family, we send our condolences. Um, who do you want to go to next? Let's Shade Mike. Let's do it. Alright, cause we're gonna say Hollywood National for the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna say that for the end. <laughs> Alright, so Mike and Shay. Um pretty much we sat down and talked about or not sat down, like they sat down and talked about um the changes in her not wanting to be a stepmom to being okay with being a stepmom. Um, she did say that if he had not, if he did not propose to her at the ending of this, that she was going to break up with him, which I thought was very interesting because you didn't want his child there. Right. You wanted to marry him and then you were willing to break up with him because he didn't propose. To he you. didn't propose to you and he didn't propose because. You didn't want his child there. Right, right. So, like, when we look at all of that culmination, it looks like you might be the problem in this. <laughs> I'm not calling any names. Right. But it all comes back to you. Um, She did say that her aha moment was when she was talking to Dr. Nicole, and Dr. Nicole told her that she creates the life that she wants. Um, And... She said that resonated with her and she felt like she needed to create the life that she wanted. And if she wanted Mike, she had to accept the fact that Zion was around, which was a little, a little bit of Mike's fault. And he admitted to that too, because he said he purposely, um, did not introduce women that he was dating yeah. to his son. So there was no need to get close and attached because he was presenting himself like a childless man essentially yeah, yeah. and i get it so i mean it's not all shay's fault but some of it is some of it is mike's fault too <laughs> right right but still though man shay can't <laughs> say on on tv hey if, if his son comes they can go get an airbnb and think everything is okay Exactly. Because it's not like because Egypt was like no man, <laughs> <laughs> right? You, you you can't do that. Like you marry him, you marry everything that comes with him. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that you would want to marry somebody that thought that way, mm -hmm. you know. Um, she said she's like her and uh, Mike's son um, Zion. Um, Zion is actually starting to build a better relationship. So that's good. Mm -hmm. um, Which you have to, to be a right, step parent. Right, right. So to be a good step parent. To be a solid step parent. I can't you, say to just be one, to be a good one. Right, you have to build that relationship. <laughs> so looks from what they're saying is they're getting stronger in their relationship with their child. So um, look forward to seeing good things from them. And, um, they also said Zion's gonna be moving in with them soon because they are purchasing a they're, home. They're yeah. in the process of purchasing a home. Yeah. So, congratulations on that. Home ownership is a giant step, and happy you guys are able to do that together. Right. Um. So, same couple. We got to see the um the people that they dated. We saw Whitney. We saw Rick. Yep. 
And I think the other guy's name was Paul. I don't know. I could. I, I don't remember. I didn't see it. I didn't catch it. And I don't remember it. Um, so she said that she had to let the first guy that she dated go because she felt like there was too much sexual tension between yeah. them. Yeah. And he was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, which I get because as the person that you're going on a date with, you're looking at it like, okay, so you're trying to see if you want something else out there. And it's like, hey, you found it. <laughs> yeah. Why you not moving forward? But whatever. Right. Um... Whitney, they also talked about um, why Mike and, well, how Mike and Whitney stopped moving forward. And she said it was because of Mike. And um, apparently they have all hung out with each other, Mike, Shay, and Whitney. Which, again, stuff that I shouldn't be seeing. I saw a live <laughs> with Mike and Whitney. After I found out that he and Whitney had gotten engaged because apparently Shay, him, I mean, I mean Shay had gotten Shay engaged got because apparently Shay had like posted on her Instagram and it had circulated in some forums and stuff with her posing with her ring. And he was talking about taking Whitney to the club that same night. So apparently there's a possibility that the three of them can be, I don't want to say a thruple, but at least a threesome is on the table. For them. It's in the realm of possibilities. <laughs> I say it's already happy, but I'm not in their bed. It probably so. has because they were all giggling. Yeah. And I feel like if it hadn't happened. They all smiled when it when it was brought up. So, hey, to each his own. But if you go back to uh, <laughs> like a year ago to our podcast, Open Relationships, we said threesomes. Uh, threesomes. Is it threesomes lead to open relationships? Open relationships lead, lead to, to threesomes. threesomes. So, that's what it is. Um, hmm, that's my say on that. So, Black. but congratulations <laughs> to them guys. They got engaged. They said a wedding And they're date. still engaged, and they have set a date for September, September 25th. So, congratulations to you guys. Wedding planning is commencing, and I'm gonna take that. Don't envy wedding planning in the pandemic. <laughs> right. Um. Next up. Tamika and Vince. Um, they said that dating other people helped them build their trust with each other or break down their trust issues, yeah. I should say. Devin and Christina came out. Um, Christina asked, why wasn't there a third date if he liked her so much? She just felt like she needed closure because after she watched the show, she saw that everyone else had gotten closure. Yeah. Um, but they did not. Yeah. So... I feel her because if you go on two dates with me and then I don't hear from you ever again. Right. What's up? <laughs> nah, I get it. Hey. <laughs> I get it. Um, apparently they didn't, I guess this was filmed before the final episode aired because the two of them did not know that they were engaged. So right, right. Devin and Christina congratulate them as well. They picked a wedding day. It's like September 12th, but Tamika's thinking about moving it up. Again, don't envy getting married in a pandemic, but congratulations to you guys. And last but not least, I made a mistake last night watching Ashley's live <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> so, you guys will see this on Monday, but she was on Instagram live on Friday night yeah. after the, um, the reunion episode. So, um... During the reunion, Hollywood admitted that he was hurt because Ashley connected with Kwame. And Kwame was taking some little jabs at Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood was jabbing the back, though. He was. But like, I don't play even come on this show. <laughs> I get it. Um, Ashley and Hollywood have not set a date yet because she feels that he's not emotionally stable. Was that the word that she Safe. used? emotionally safe she said his emotional safety is not where it needs to be um they did get into a little bit of the what ashley called a pineapple exchange yeah and what everybody else said was a kiss what right and i'm gonna be completely honest if i was single it was a pineapple exchange but if i'm in a relationship with you That's that was a, a kiss, kiss. <laughs> But hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hollywood, Hollywood came out 
And uh, he was uh, he he was fresh to death. He was. He was fresh. He was. Uh, he, I like his uh, coordination. Right, right. With his bow tie and he his uh, jacket, he was t- he was together. Oh, uh, but he said, "Man, this sucker ass dude right here." <laughs> and I'm like, he's sitting right there, Hollywood. Do you want to fight? <laughs> Hollywood was like, "We can do this if you want to," because <laughs> it, it sounds like you want to fight. Man, but uh, I, that's the one. That's one of the things I like about Hollywood is, like, he try he composes himself enough, but if you push him, you're gonna get Hollywood. But you know, sometimes <laughs> you don't have to push. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it can just be, be like, like a. You man, like, just be quiet. Right, 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 right. <laughs> no, but uh, like just them being able to come out. I think this couple, Ashley and Hollywood, were. The most interesting couple because you they know had two two proposals the like before this final one. right um they've been together for nine years ashley's on the fence and which is the flip of what happened before when they was about to get married with hollywood being on the fence mm-hmm. and calling it off and so you kind of like at the end of the last episode she was like the question of is she um, <laughs> did she say yes because she truly wanted to get married, or did she say yes because to satisfy Hollywood's question? Mm-hmm. You know, um, which leads to another question: If she would have said no, would the relationship be over? Because they did bring up how hard it is to just break away from each other because of the time. Mm-hmm. So um, ponder that question. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Oh, um, let's see. They haven't set a date. Nope, they haven't set a date. Um, they also talked about Egypt. Um, asked if she were not with Hollywood, would she have like dated Kwame? And she said definitely. Which I know that has to be a jab at Hollywood. Yeah. Like for you to like just even considering that I'm married, but prior to being married. If you had asked me about another guy that I had dated and said, would I be with them if I wasn't with Tommy? I wouldn't have an answer. Because there's not a definite yes. But to be like, definitely yes, that's kind of a jab to him. Because it's like, you thinking about somebody else. Um, Kwame says that if Ashley is happy with being with Hollywood, then he is truly happy for her. But um, she confirms for probably like the third time during this reunion that she's just not ready to be married. Mm-hmm. And um, they were also considering starting over. And that's something that um, I have a question about because I know people that have like gotten married and then they separated and then they ended up back together. And then there's people that have married and separated and didn't get back together. And they haven't gotten married yet, but they've had the time invested that you would think of a married couple would have. And what does it look like to start over? Mm -hmm. Because I can't imagine starting over with a person as if I don't know you. Like we would have to like fully separate, like no longer living together us getting separate places and then we're not in a um committed relationship and yeah i can go do whatever i want to do because we're starting over like you don't get to have me in the same capacity that you did and i just i wonder how that looks for them yeah like they said one thing and i think Mm -hmm. i just brought it up but they were talking about the time Mm -hmm. that they have been together for so long and the thought that I, you know, think about is, well, if you were, if you would have five years ago, you've been together nine years. If you broke up four, five years ago, you would mm-hmm. only have been together for four years. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, like time is is time is precious. Time mm-hmm. is that one thing we can't get back, no matter what we do. Um, and if you're sitting up here. Same because like at this point now, what they said on the reunion was they're back at square one mm-hmm. before they, you know, went on to the show. Mm-hmm. So if you can't get your time back, what are you doing? 
Right. I just, I hate to see people that stay together because they have all these years. Yeah, I feel like they're using the time aspect, <laughs> the nine years aspect as a uh, connector and a, a, a chain. Mm -hmm. It's keeping them locked together. Mm -hmm. Like, remove the time. Do you want to be with this person, and do do y'all want to be together? Right. It's the question, you know. And and I think I wrote Hollywood is stuck <clears throat> because he really wants to be with her, mm -hmm. but she on the fence as if she wants to be with him or not. And I completely get it because when Hollywood gets upset with Ashley. His defense mechanism is it's, let's just break up. We can break up. And if you if I tell you that I want to be with you and then you keep saying, Well, we can just break up because you're mad, that don't sound like you really want to be right, with me. Right, right. You you're saying like I can leave whenever I want to. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's it's that's just something you have to work on. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's interesting to see it and I think something was brought up when they argue. They don't argue, or they didn't argue for real until they got on the show. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking to myself, me and Artika argue all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, Mostly me. Yeah, like she get mad over like she get mad over something, and it's kind of like I take a chill. You know, I'm chill about it. It's like okay, I just take it. And then sometimes I'll be like, no, I'm not going to take it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and we just be sitting up here mad together, you know, at each other. But, you know, it's I think it's a healthy way to argue with people. And I think arguments are healthy in a relationship. So As long as it's not all you're doing. Right, right, right. You know, the, we don't argue all the time. I want to take that back. But when we do argue, you know, we do get over it. We do go home i mean not go home <laughs> but at the end of the day we've resolved our arguments and uh it's not it becomes a disagreement yeah you know but i'm i like i have a friend who said that her parents never argued yeah and i like to think of arguments as like confronting everything and putting it out on the table yeah. and then we can move on because sometimes there have been several of our arguments that have literally been us saying the same thing, but we're saying it two different ways, and the other person can't hear it because they're not saying it the way that they need to hear it. Yeah. So, we have to have this huge blow up, and then we can come back and we can talk to each other like same people and be like, oh, you was just saying the same thing yeah. that I was saying? Yeah. I just didn't like the way that you said it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean... I mean... I I said all that to say arguing is healthy <laughs> right arguing is healthy um it's just how you argue and what you rebuttal with um with the defense mechanism of we get into an argument and then you can leave somebody's gonna take your you know she she probably is thinking about that like well it's so easy for them to say that i can leave i'm gonna leave mm -hmm. you know so it, it's a lot of things that they have to work on and i think they're going to work on it or you know we'll figure out something um <laughs> so i don't know man like but that that couple man i'm really rooting, rooting for them mm -hmm. hopefully they find happiness and uh everything hopefully everybody on the show finds happiness with their specific and significant other it's interesting because going through our comment section, I'm going to finish up with Ashley Hollywood with the last notes that I have. Yeah, I'm pretty much done. But going through our comment section, week after week after week, people have been team Ashley and Hollywood and being like the other couples need to break yeah. up. <laughs> and then the other couples stay together and Ashley and Hollywood are figuring it out. Yeah, everybody's like, I oh, don't know, man. They might need to just go on and, you know. <laughs> Exactly. Cut that one show. So, um, the last notes that I wrote was, Ashley said that Hollywood doesn't give her the emotional safety she feels that she needs. And Dr. Nicole says that they're not being emotionally honest. And she's told each one of the ladies throughout this process that if it's, if it's not right, a ring is not going to fix it. And that is the God honest truth. It's kind of like how people think that a baby, will fix. a baby will fix things getting married will fix things and I'm not talking about Hollywood specifically in this equation but if a man cheats getting married is not going to make him not a cheater it just makes him a married cheater <laughs> 
So it's like having a baby doesn't solve your relationship problems. It actually can heighten relationship problems because everybody's running on fumes and trying to figure out themselves and this new person in their lives. Yeah. So I commend Ashley for, for being honest and saying that she's not ready to be married and them working through whatever the issues are that could either lead them to marriage or lead them to breaking up. Whatever that looks like. Like, I feel like you have to do what's best for you and your yourself instead of just trying to be with this person. Mm -hmm. Because being with this person might not be the best thing for you. Again, hope everybody makes it out. <laughs> And gets what they need at the ending of it. Like, again, congratulations to Tamika and Vince and Mike and Shay. Um, I hope that both Ashley and Mimi can go and work through whatever it is that is keeping them from committing to these guys that are in their lives. Whether it be commitment or breaking up. Like, whatever is right for the two of them, just sticking to it and... Finding, finding happiness in whatever decision you make. Thank you. That's what I was trying to get. There we go. Look at you. Look at me. <laughs> you got anything else? <laughs> nah, nah. All right. It. Well, um, if you guys have not watched our previous video, I did discuss that we are going to start doing Friday Night Lives starting not this Friday, but the following Friday because we are, or maybe it's not the following Friday. We'll figure it out. What yeah, we'll figure it out. Just be on the lookout for Friday Night Live. Yeah, we'll do it here live on YouTube and also on our other social media um, platforms, platforms as well. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell, comment down below what you guys feel about the reunion. Was it the closure that you felt like you needed from these relationships? <laughs> because as much as people say that these, this is their lives, we're still being entertained by it and we're invested. So yeah. let us know how you guys feel about it as well. And then also follow us um, on all social media. All the links are listed down below. If you got nothing else. Um, yeah, podcast is coming back this week so I be yeah be on the lookout for that one we're gonna do the august love story podcast start uploading had to take a break um what else we got married at first sight is actually coming back too so. i forgot yes married at first sight is coming back on wednesday wednesday so so our um, reviews will be up on thursdays thursday. sometime so, yep so look out for that um yeah that's all i have no for August love story. Appreciate you guys for watching um, and, and kicking it with us on the on the videos and commenting and liking and sharing and stuff like that. We really appreciate like, it. Like it brings joy to my heart to talk to y'all during the week. Like yeah. I look at the comments and I'm like, oh hey girl. <laughs> <laughs> and he be the same way. Like don't no, let him fool. No, me. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> She'll tell me about a comment, and I'll be like, oh, for real? And some then, of them, he's like, I already saw that. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I look at them. She responds, and we talk about it and, and give a response. So um, we definitely appreciate it. We definitely appreciate the support and everything. Look for great things from us, August Love Story and 3M Media. Um, coming yeah, soon. we got a new show coming out on that as well, but we'll get to that later, too. Yeah. All right, thank you guys for watching, and bye. Peace.